Here's Brian with his spiffy new 1970 Charger Registry t-shirt. Brian thought you might be interested in seeing how we made it, so I'm going to show you from start to finish. The first thing we did was to download the 1970 Charger Registry logo from the website and convert it from a bitmap file to a vector file. A bitmap file is like a photograph and it limits the number of changes and the types of changes we can make. With a vector file, we can select any number and change the color so that if your car is purple and you would like purple numbers, we can give you purple numbers. The other advantage of a vector file is it gives us a sharper image from which to print. Next, we printed the design on a thin white film that's attached to a plastic carrier to help it go through the printer more easily. Here you are seeing the top of the numbers being printed. As we fast forward, here's more of the design. And here is the end of the printing process. Now the printer rolls back the film and cuts around each of the numbers and all of the letters that are in the design so we can remove the excess film when we're done. Here I begin removing the excess film. Here I'm removing the last of the excess film. Now I place the film and the carrier on clear mask so that I will be able to remove the carrier which we don't need. Now we're ready to apply the film. Before applying the film with the heat press, we put the t-shirt on the press and heat it once to remove moisture. Here, Vicky puts the film and the mask on the t-shirt. Then she heat presses the shirt. After the shirt has been pressed, Vicky removes the mask. Then she presses the shirt one more time. And now we're done. If you'd like to learn more about what we do and how we do it, visit our website, our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, or call us. We'd be happy to hear from you.